dear students welcome back to our online class hope all of you are well and continue your study according to the instruction of our honorable teachers this is mominul islam assistant teacher iskar high school and college today we discuss on voice sense of imperative sentence in our previous classes we knew how to sense assertive and interrogative sentence into passive voice in our today's class we discuss on voice sense of imperative sentence let's start before starting the voice sense of imperative sentence we have to know what is imperative sentence the sentence which expresses order request forbid prohibition etc is called imperative sentence rule on if the sentence start with the main verb you have to use the following structure to sense into passive voice let plus object plus b plus past participle form of verb for example close the door here close is a verb and the sentence start with the main verb so you have to use the following structure let the door be closed another example write a letter let a letter be written rule 2 if you find a sentence start with do not or don't it's also imperative sentence you have to use the following structure to sense into passive voice let not plus object plus b plus past participle form of verb for example don't or do not hate the poor the sentence start with the do not so you have to use the following structure let not the poor be hated another example do not make a noise let not a noise be made rule 3 if a sentence start with never it is also imperative sentence and you have to use the following structure to sense into passive voice let not plus object plus ever be plus past participle form of verb example never tell a lie the sentence start with never so you have to use the following structure let not a lie ever be told another example never do this let not this ever be done rule 4 if imperative sentence start with let you have to use the following structure let plus last object plus b plus past participle form of verb plus by plus past object or personal object you already got the idea that such kind of sentence have two objects example let me play football let football be played by me another example let us sing a song let a song be sung by us rule 5 if imperative sentence start with please or kindly you have to use the following structure you are requested to or not to plus base form of verb plus rest part of sentence please help me you are requested to help me another example please don't make a noise you are requested not to make a noise if please and kindly used at the last of the sentence you have to use the following structure rule 6 if the sentence start with the main verb having two objects then you have to use the following structure let plus last object plus b plus past participle form of verb plus for plus past object or personal object buy me a book here we find two object me and a book so you have to use the following structure let a book be bought for me pluck me a flower 
let a flower be plucked for me it's a very very easy rule actually the rule of imperative sentence to transfer into passive voice is more easy than that of the rule of assertive and interrogative sentence to change into passive voice i think all of you are clear on the six rules of imperative sentence here are some example of active voice you have to transfer this sentence into passive voice and submit your copy in my inbox so this is for today you have to practice more and more from any book especially advanced learners book if you find any difficulty you can ask me thank you allah bless